This is the bind and fly version of the Blade Glimpse that I'm going to team up with my DX9 radio. The Blade Glimpse comes with the fully assembled quad itself, a set of extra rotor blades, you get a battery with it, a USB charger for the battery, and you get a cable for downloading the video to a computer, and you get the mount for holding the iPhone. And you get an instruction manual for what that's worth. It's not real extensive. Single cell 500 milliamp LiPo comes with a USB charger. You just plug the battery into the charger, plug the charger into the computer, and wait for that little red light to go out. The charger is all automatic and you can't make it go faster or slower. After a five minute flight, my batteries have been taking right around 40 minutes to recharge. The glimpse comes fully assembled, including the HD camera up in the nose, and you can tilt that camera up and down about several degrees. On the back end, you'll find a plug for the included cable for downloading the video and photos to a computer. And on the side is the slot for the mini SD card. The first time I pulled the card out, I was shocked to find a nice scan disc card. I was expecting either no card at all or one of those generic cheap as we can make them cards. The legs on the glimpse are made from thin plastic and very flexible on purpose to prevent damage. The fin in the center of the chassis limits how far the legs can distort to keep the blades from touching down. The motors just push into these cups in the frame and then have a wire with a plug on it for connecting them so you don't have to solder anything. This makes changing motors really easy. Notice that the motors have different colored wiring so you can get the right one when you're ordering a replacement. This is the iPhone mount that comes with the blade glimpse. And this attaches to the strap lug on your radio. The mount is secured using the socket head screw that comes with the glimpse kit. Just open the jaws and the iPhone slips in between them and is clamped in place. This seems reasonably secure, but I'll bet you can knock the phone out of there if you bump this into something, so you have to be paying attention. I downloaded the free application from the Apple App Store. And every time I open that application up, I get the same screen. The quad is actually generating the Wi-Fi signal, but the phone doesn't connect to it automatically. After the glimpse finishes initializing, I have to go into the settings portion of my phone and make the connection manually. So far, that's worked every time. But I'd rather it be more automatic if possible, but so far I can't find a way to do that. Once connected, everything worked fine. The controls for starting and stopping a video and for taking still shots are in the application itself. And while you're recording, you get an estimation on the screen about how much space is left on the card. It turns out that trying to fly the quad while filming the cell phone isn't as easy as I thought it might be. The glimpse itself seems to fly pretty well. It's just me trying to figure out how to do it through the cell phone that was the toughest part. Like most things, the more you do it, the easier it gets. Before too long, I was actually getting the quad to kind of go where I wanted it to. But I think there's a lot of practice ahead of me before I start feeling comfortable with this thing. The angle on these legs almost guarantee a crash if you run into a wall or other flat surface. And you don't even have to be going fast for it to happen. But I found out that if you run into something a little slower, it doesn't tip so rapidly and you can't actually save it. Of course, the smartest thing to do would be to learn how to fly so we don't run into walls and stuff. But this is the internet and we'll blame this on whoever we want. By the end of the first day, I was getting where I could actually fly the quad pretty good while watching through the cell phone. I still have lots to learn, but at least it's getting to be more fun to fly rather than just going over and picking it up all the time. And I even got brave enough to send the quad out to different parts of the house. Incidentally, looking at this through the camera now, you can see that at this distance, without LEDs, it's hard to tell which way the quad's facing. But I'm watching through the cell phone, so I just make a nice, slow, easy turn and advance it until I run into something because I forgot to turn the light on out there. So if you're thinking about getting into FPV quads, the glimpse is one way to do it. And it saves you from having to buy those goggles.